Hi, and welcome back to It's a Miracle Budgeting. My name is Brandy, and if you've never been here before, I am a cash budgeter. I do do almost 100% of cash, which I will be posting some updates pretty soon. In the month of December has been, pardon the French, but a shit show. I have built debt back up. Not a horrible, obscene amount, especially for how I'm able to pay off debt pretty fast, but it still is disappointing. It kind of was a knee-jerk reaction to things going on in my life and different things and so I'm gonna have to knee-jerk back the other way and pay it all off now but it's not a huge amount again but it's enough that it, it gave me pause and made me evaluate my own behaviors but I normally budget 100% in cash I actually am married we have six kids three at home three living outside the home and we do not budget together we have been together for 22 years married for 19 which I think in a previous video I said 23 and it just dawned on me the other day that I was totally giving the wrong number but been married for 19 to Together for 22. We're actually hitting our 20, 20th anniversary this coming year and we have never budgeted together. In fact, it's solved a lot of problems because I don't police his money. He doesn't police mine. As long as the kids are taken care of and the bills are paid, that's all we care about. We share common goals and keep things moving. So if you like cash stuffings, if you like YouTube paychecks, if you like budgeting and weekly check-in type videos. I hope that you will subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell. I do not post on the same day and the same time every week. So make sure you ring that bell so you are notified when I do post. And then last of all, if you like this video, I hope that you will like and share. It does help me in the YouTube algorithm. There is a huge cash stuffing community out here and we all rally around each other. And I can't thank all of you enough for the amount of patience and understanding that you have given me in this <laughs> journey I've been in recently and what's going on in my community. It's just been kind of a, a crazy time and it was already crazy to begin with so it just made it a little crazier. So today I'm stuffing my final paycheck of in December. I am stuffing $690. I am only stuffing $690 even though it's bi-weekly because I am putting $500, actually technically $690 on my loan. My goal is to have that loan paid off by March 31st so my 100% end of the year goals were just putting money over there so $690 is going to that loan and that's part of the reason why you see a lot smaller cash stuffing here. And I apologize if you see hair anywhere. I am a post lupus flare up so my hair is falling out and I'm finding it everywhere. Finding it in envelopes, finding it in my wallet, I'm finding it everywhere. So I apologize if you see any hair. I try to take care of it but you know how it goes. It's definitely got a life of its own. So let's get started. I always unstuff my cash envelopes first and I actually, these are from, I wanted to give you the name. I found these and they're very similar to my other ones but I have the correct names now and she actually made me a custom as well. It is Boysenberry Designs Co. I will link it in the cards or the um, description box but it is off of Etsy. So I did not, for the year end, I did not worry about my spare 10. I will get this back in there. I actually have $11 in winnings sitting on my Michigan lottery from my spin to win. So I'm going to use that and put that in here. And then starting January, or actually starting from this payday forward, I actually will be doing my challenges again. So this will get stuffed in the new year or from now on. So groceries, I actually have 10 left and I'm not going to empty these the same way I normally do. Normally I empty them all and then I fill them all. I'm actually not going to do that today because it's such a small amount left and it can keep the video moving. So I actually have $10 left. I'm actually going to set that aside. It's not going to go in my house cash fund. It's actually going to go in my spending because I did not budget any spending. And since I have something left, I think I earned it and I'm okay with that. I work hard for my money. So groceries is getting $80. 50, 70, 75, 80. We do still have, I think, one shopping trip left on the Pandemic EBT. As I stated before, we didn't get that previously, but we did get it this time. So I um, have been rationing it out, trying to make it last as long as I can. So fuel is next, or gas, and gas is getting 50. Gas is the one thing I do not like doing big bills on because I do, oops, extra 20. I'd like to have um, split it in two. So I have 20, 40, 45, 50. Next is eating out. That is not getting anything. Spending is getting, I'm actually going to take it. You can see there's $5 left in miscellaneous. All this, this is 15. It's all that spending is getting. I actually didn't budget for spending at all. And miscellaneous is getting 10. So two fives. Oops. And that is my cash envelopes. And in case you haven't seen my unboxing when I purchased my wallet, I actually have a coach wallet. It's the double zip. And these do fit in here absolutely perfectly. If I had less stuff in my wallet, it'd fit even better. But they do just slide in really easy. 
So that is that. Next, we're going to go to my family binder. And I, I did set these up so they're ready for the new year. I previously had kind of moved some things around, and I actually set these up so that they're ready for the new year in the order I want them and in the order I budget in. So Beauty is going to get 80, 50, 70, 75, 80. I actually, the first time in a really long time, I spent my entire beauty this week, this paycheck. So that is 80. Massage Lux is not getting anything. This will start in January. I'll start stuffing that. But I do have, I guess I should show you. I gave myself change. It's all small bills now. But they had buy one, get one free for their gift cards. So each card is a massage, and I paid half price for them. So now with my lupus, they want me to do massages biweekly, and that would be expensive. So I have the monthly membership, and then for the next four months, I have my second one covered. And then in this fund, I have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So it's 65 a month for one massage. They're normally 100, and so you pay a little bit less because they can depend on your automatic withdrawal. And then I have those additional purchased. Subscriptions is getting 40. And I did just clean this out. Our um, Disney Plus was due, and I cleaned it out, paying that annual subscription. I have converted all my subscriptions to annual so that I don't have to pay monthly. I can just pay once a year and I budget and spread it out through the year. Pets is getting 10. 5, 10. So we now have 20, 30, 35, 40. I pool my pets up and I order from Chewy once every quarter and that's how we do ours. Medical is getting 20. No, medical is getting 10, I think. No, Michael's getting 20. That was right the first time. So we now have 25. Sam's Club is actually what was home or, or um, Amazon. I'm just continuing my Amazon. I'm going to purchase from Sam's Club. And this is getting a 20. I will have a few Amazon orders that um, my husband and I are splitting because we're going to let this pile up and then do a quarterly Sam's Club and start doing it that way. So that is that. Kids is not getting anything yet. School is not getting anything yet. Birthdays. I have these split into two so that it saves when they start getting full. It's harder to fit. I do it in the order of the birthday coming up. So my son-in-law Ray currently has 30 and I'm actually going to add 50. But I can't remember if I did a 50. I did. So now he has a 50. Crispy bills are sticking together. So we now have 50, 70, 80. And we do do $100 a person for their birthdays. We have a huge family with, you know, we have 12 people between us, kids, and grandkids. So we do $100 per person per birthday. And I am saving each person. And then as we send it over, Ray's birthday is actually in February. I'm ahead of the game. My son's birthday is in January is already collected. So I don't have to worry about that. So I'm actually ahead of the game. And that is it. In case you're wondering, these... Um, Dashboards are actually from Princess Budget. She did a phenomenal job on it. I'm mean, really, really satisfied. Next is my home binder. And again, same dashboards from Princess Budgets. House Cash is not getting anything to the new year. I'm not getting into the year. I actually discontinued, and I'm going to go over this in my January budget, but I discontinued my planning and my tech and I feel like there's another one too. I'm just going to put them all in here in mine because those are for me anyways. There's no reason to have all these different envelopes when I give one, I can just throw money in. Clothing is not getting anything until the new year. Car is getting 40. 20, 40. So car, oops, now has 51, 20, like they're stuck there. 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 25. My car, of course, needs repairs because I paid it off, so now everything's going wrong. So I have some more repairs I'm gonna have to pay for, but I'm just trying to get them push it as long as I can so I can hopefully get the money together. Um, next is my car tags. This is for my license plate, the renewal tabs. Um, in Michigan, we actually just got approved to do two years. So I'm more than likely not going to have enough to do two years, but I'm going to do it and, and just pay it back over the year because it's going to be such a nice thing to not have to do it every year. So I'm adding 10 to this, and I now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. And I actually have 20 here. I'm going to switch these out for a 20. 
So I'm going to count that one more time just to make sure. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20. If I get a bonus or something, I'll throw some extra money in here so that I can cover those expenses. Home is not getting until next year. Month ahead is getting 80, 50, 60, 70, 80. That actually worked perfect. So in my month ahead binder, that video will be linked up in the cards if you'd like to check it out. I do have 500. Now in, in additional I have, so it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 50, 9, 50, 1,000, 20, 30. So I have 1,030. So I will be filming episode 2 of my month ahead binder series now that I have that so I can deposit into that binder. Storage is not getting anything. I will start depositing in that in the new year. Same with anniversaries, same with zoo trips, same with passports. Vacation is getting 40. 20, 40. So we now have 51, 52, 20, 40. We are going to Texas in December of next year, actually the week of Christmas, to see my our daughter, son, and grandkids or daughter, son-in-law, and grandkids. And so um, I will start be bulking this up. It is something I'm going to be dropping, kind of like my month ahead. I'm going to be dropping a lot of money in that in coming year. Does anybody else budget really far in advance? I've actually already done a budget for the entire year, for next year. It's not a firm budget. It's a tentative, hey, let's try to do this. But it actually looks really good. If I'm able to manage it, I am going to kick some butt next year. I feel more confident doing it now that I know my habits. Um... Snowball or debt is going to get 30. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. So we now have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. And I am gonna let this pile up for the bit and then start paying off some of that debt I mentioned earlier in the video. Um I don't have a problem paying things back now. When I was younger, if I ever got debt, I thought it was permanent, like you can't get out of it. Now that I know I can, I've paid off, my loan was 12,400 and I'm under 6,000 right now. I think I'm at 5,500 or 5,600. So I am able to, to pump it out. And so now that I know that, I don't wanna continue the habit, but I also know I can fix it and mistakes happen. I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. Savings is going to get 75, so 50. 75, so 50, 75, and so I now have in savings 1, 2, 53, 50, 370, 394, 10, 415, and this is 10, so that's 425, which I don't think, I feel like that's not right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 90. That's 4. That is right. Okay. I must have a, my counters wrong because I must have counted something wrong. And I'm okay with that. I really count wrong and have more money than less money. So that is savings. And I'll fix my tracker later. Emergency fund is getting 25 I believe yep 25 and I do have my thousand dollar placeholder that's 25 so now in emergency fund I do have 51 20 40 60 82 20 35 so 235 in emergency fund Santa, I am completely done stuffing and it is completely empty. I actually emptied this and put all the money in the cards and we bought some gifts and it is completely empty and I will start restuffing at the first payday in January. Holidays, January, and then back here I have annual fees is January. So I should only have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and that is perfect. That is going in my business binder in my business envelope. So all of, I don't think I said it anywhere in this video, everything you see in this video with the exception of the dashboards and the things I pointed out were someone else's actually are from my store. The link is in the description and there is a discount code. So if there's anything you see, and I also can customize binders, both the covers, the inside, if you talk to me, I do email a lot on customizations to make sure that I'm getting what you want and make sure you're going to be happy with it. So it can be, 
I'm assuming annoying, but I hope it's not. It means you're getting what you really, really want. So I do do that. The other thing I want to say is those dividers that were in the birthday and the Christmas, those are from Intentionally Planned. Um, she's actually on break until like January 3rd, but then she will have those back in stock. So we have in business now 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. And that is it for my cash stuffing. If you like cash stuffings, I hope that you will like, share, subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell. I do not post the same time on the same day every week. So you will miss videos if you don't click that bell. And if you would mind liking and sharing, it does help me in the algorithm. I really appreciate it. And wherever you guys are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great holiday season. And I hope your budgets are going great. Have a great one, guys.